<laughs> Lewis in the... As in rhinoceros. That's right. There's a rhino loose in the city. What's it about, Bill? <laughs> well, it's about... You see, this rhinoceros, right, escapes from the zoo and it heads straight for London, right? And after two or three days, they find all these, like, dead bodies lying about and no-one knows who's done it, right? So they get hold of this private detective, you know, sort of like a Charlton Heston-type geezer, to try and solve the crime. Now, the zookeeper happens to be, you know, a very attractive woman. So, before you know where you are, old Charlton is given the salt what for. So, that's your romantic interest. Rhinoceros. <laughs> but I don't know it's missing. Black, how can you not know? <laughs> Bill, if you've got a rhinoceros, right, and one day it ain't there, you tend to know it's missing. <laughs> Don't be a plonker all your life, Rodney. <laughs> I mean, she ain't got one rhinoceros. She's probably, like, got, you know, two, two or three rhinoceroses. How does he escape? Oh, I squeeze his through the bars, my problem. <laughs> Don't you start getting saucy with me, Rodney. I'm only trying to help you. I don't believe... Nobody knows he's escaped. What about the eight million people living in London? Don't none of them spot it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but the ones who spot it, they're the ones who gets trampled to death. <laughs> what about all the others? The people in offices, the people in cabs, the people sitting on tops of buses. It's a rhino, Dell. He only comes out at night. <laughs> what is it, a vampire rhino? <laughs> no, it's not a vampire rhino. That's stupid, that is, isn't it, eh? <laughs> Where's he lived during the day? Uh, in a lock-up garage in a back street. <laughs> He's leasing it, is he? <laughs> not leasing it. It's a disused garage in a backstreet where no one ever goes. But the detective does find it. Um, only it's at night. And the rhino's gone out. That's right. <laughs> see, so the old detective is nowhere near solving the mystery. You see what it is, Rodney? Not only is it a love story, it's a new done it. New done it? What do you mean, who done it? <laughs> we know who done it. The rhino done it. <laughs> So I know that we, we the audience, right? We know that, but they don't know the actors, do they? Well, this is something... A rhinoceros has escaped from the zoo. There are 300 dead bodies covered in rhinoceros footprints. <laughs> There's a knock-up garage two and a half foot deep in rhinoceros crap, and Charlton Heston suspects the battle. <laughs> Well, I do admit there are one or two teething snags. <laughs> but it's got all the essential qualities of a hit, hasn't it, eh? I mean, it's got suspense, lots of killings and a bit of Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, this is a disaster movie. Disaster? It's a calamity. <laughs> Why is he killing people? Well, what do you want it to be, a social worker? <laughs> well, he's a man-eater, isn't he? You know, like, Ow. No. No. Rhinoceroses aren't carnivorous. They're vegetarian. <laughs> All right, all right, so we elbow the lock-up garage and we make him hide in the back of a health food shop. <laughs> and he wouldn't head for the city, neither. But he's got to head for the city so he can kill lots of people. Yeah, that's right. No, his natural habitat would be the open country. <laughs> all right, so what are you suggesting? We call the film, there's a rhino loose somewhere out in the sticks where no sod lives. <laughs> You don't call the likes of Charlton Eston in because something's eating the carrots. No. I think it's a good idea. <laughs> Thank you very much, Elba. Yes, well, I'll pass. All right. All right, then. Just wanted to put an idea in your head, that was all. Wish it had been a bleeding bullet now. <laughs> well, I've only got a small budget, haven't I? I know, that's the beauty of it, Rodney. I know where there's a rhinoceros going cheap. 